Very warm welcome. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can use Telnet protocol in order to connect to a remote computer and do some process over the particular computer. What basically a Telnet protocol is, the protocol which provides a standard implementation for interfacing terminals from one side to process onto another side. The Telnet protocol is basically built over three major important substructures and these substructures are the initial connection protocol which deals with the connections. The second is the network virtual terminal which deals with the input output signals and this input and output is dealt with a keyboard and a printer. And the third is the telnet control signals. Why we use the telnet control signals is to control the character streams which is flowing during the transmission. So let's have a look how we can use Telnet in order to connect to some remote free sites and do some processing. So here is a terminal and I'm going to simply do a Telnet command. Let's just increase the size. And the server which I am going to connect is blinkandlights.nl. So let's this particular site will just a second. So here I have prepared towel.blinkandlights.nl should be connected and it will give the Star Wars episode 4 in a ASCII animation by telnetting to this address. So let's see. So here we can do the telnet to and here we are represented with an ASCII animation of Star Wars Episode 4. Let's have a look how the character stream looks like. For your information, when these information, that is the data which travels from one terminal to another terminal and the first terminal, that is the user terminal, do some processes over the host terminal, then the character streams are being flowed in the particular tunnel these character streams have some control signals like the name signal, echo, no echo, print, no print, like some basic control signals which are used by the Telnet protocol in order to control the data. So here we are connected to the Telnet network and it has been loaded. In an another instance of a terminal, let's connect to one more site, one more telnet server, which is a telehack.com. What is the basic use of the particular telnet server is you can, it has a working basic interpreter and a compiler and with the library so that you can run various programs on that particular internet server, that is the telnet server and it provides a lot of good things. It provides you an honor to feel like the connecting computers in 1980s and 1990s. So let's have a look. In this instance, we'll connect to that server. And here we are connected. In 1985s and in 1990s, people connect to another computer using this command line. So here are some basic options like new user basic using this new user you can register your user on this particular telnet server. Here is a finger command using finger you can identify what a particular user or a host is doing. You can log in you can get the network stats you can find out the user so let's fire a users command and simply hit enter. And now we will be available with all the users which are available on this particular telnet server at this instant. So we can enter, we can have a look. And here is the storyline of the particular 
blinkenlightens.nl is going on the ASCII animation of Star Wars 4 so by the time it loads let's have a read of home aboard her starship custodian of the stolen plants that can save so this is just like an intro for the particular ASCII animation of Star Wars in the meantime I'll show you some various sites which you can access here at pastebin.com at this link I have written some basic telnet servers which you can connect using free maybe you can connect using a guest account and you can you in some sites you may not even need the guest accounts you can simply connect to that particular telnet server and can drop into that computer and can process something whichever you want here is a synchronous BBS list of telnet servers it has 137 systems to which you can connect to these are the sample informations so I hope you all will enjoy telnetting to these servers and you all may get to know a lot of good things about telnet protocol about net network virtual terminal about internet or initial connection protocols because these are the basic backbones of telnet protocol and as you all know it was implemented in order to connect or in order to provide an interface between two hosts so that one host can do some processing over another host at a remote location so here let's have a look of the star wars this is the basic type of animation these are the character set what the beauty of this character set is it has the control signals which are controlling these text streams and it is represented in an animated format so I hope all you all enjoyed this particular video I'll request you all to telnet to these telnet servers and enjoy and get to know a lot of information and post whatever you get using these telnet servers on our page on Hackwave and let's have a fruitful discussion over telnet in a more detailed and deep sense so thanks a lot for watching have a good day